Finally is a four-way net machine. This is patterned after the old vintage Nautilus four-way net, but it was actually built from scratch um, by Ken Hutchins in the super slow systems. Things that are a little bit different than the Nautilus uh, original piece are, one is the head pad is very short and squat. If you look at the pictures of body by science and neck extension, you'll see a fairly large blocky head pad. What happens with that large blocky head pad is that when you're doing a neck extension, when you get into full extension, the back of the neck pad will actually hit your upper shoulder area and prevent you from getting a full contraction like you can with this. So that's a little bit blockier. And you have customized cam down here and a plunger that plunges into this to change the cam timing so that the fall off can be individualized for each client. Finally, down here in the corner and on the floors, we have various and sundry pieces of freeway equipment. We have a thick bar here, largely used for doing thick bar curls, wrist curls. There's an easy curl bar there, a lot of times used for doing freeway curls. We have an Olympic barbell here. A lot of times this will get used for doing uh, deadlifts. And back in the corner here, we have a uh, trap bar for doing trap bar deadlifts and squats, assortment of free weights. And then a formulator. This is for working the forearms. You can do it in multiple different planes. The Olympic plate um, gets inserted onto there. And although I'm not in the correct position, you'll get the general idea. You can do wrist flexion, flipping it over. You can do wrist extension. You can do radial flexion, like that. And you can do ulnar um, flexion, which is actually in this direction. So, and the way that this is mounted, the angle it's mounted at, makes for a very good strength curve for doing that particular movement. In many cases, actually better than your typical barbell wrist curl, um, which Arthur Jones thought was an almost ideal movement. This actually improves upon it somewhat. One of the other neat features we have for use with any of our equipment are um, power pins. And it's very hard to find these, but this is a selectalized weight stack pin that pops out when you set down the weight stack so that you can do either uh, weight breakdowns or hyper reps, things of that nature. I'll show you how it works with this little pull down machine. Let's say I want to start off with a significantly heavy rep to failure. Let's say I want to do one of Terry Carter's ultimate reps. And let's say the first rep was all I could muster to do one rep. What I can do is I can complete that one rep, hold it statically for as long as I can, then as the negative drags me back down, I fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. And then as soon as the weight hat stack hits, the pin pops out, and then you can do your lighter weight after that. Now, right now in the facility, it's 64 degrees. We like to keep it at 61. The other thing that you'll notice is there are fans at almost every exercise station. And when a client's training during the day, all these fans will be on to circulate the air uh, to make sure that we get efficient cooling. 
So now you've seen pretty much the entire setup in my facility. A lot of facilities have even more equipment and more sophisticated than this. But this is what I have to construct my workouts out of. Now that y'all are aware of what we have here in the future, I may be allowing some of the followers of BodyByScience.net having an awareness of what equipment I have at my disposal to construct my workout of the week for me and let me try them out. But uh, I appreciate your attention and thanks for touring my facility.